This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hey everyone, this stock market is the longest roller coaster ride I've had in my life. In many ways, it's just the strangest market in my life. And that's saying something because I've been around for quite a while. Let's, let's put it that way. You know, I'm, I'm getting sick of the day trading simply because it, it's not day trading anymore. It's minute trading. Uh, a headline comes out and the market responds immediately. Even, and you can do this within the same day uh, or two consecutive days anyway. And you just end up getting spun around like you're going nowhere but in circles. Uh, so I, I was into the day trading and I was day trading the, uh, the, the bear funds, the, the triple leverage uh, inverse uh, bear funds. Uh, but I got sick of that awfully quick just because it was changing too quickly, even f when I was day trading and getting used to it too. But this is too much too often. Uh, the volatility, they tell me, should be a dream for a day trader. I didn't find it that way. I found it to be more of a nightmare. Uh, so I, I'm glad I, I'm out of it and I'm not doing the shorting anymore. I came away with a profit of, of about 150000 you know. Uh, but I, I was sick of this constant being whiplashed. And... And it can be just on the on the general market and the and the company specifics didn't seem to matter that much, except for energy and basic material stocks. Uh, those were the two two exceptions. Banks to some degree, but I don't think banks are going to go up until they actually increase the interest rates, because until they actually increase them, uh, it, you know, bank, it won't matter to banks one way or the other. But I I want to invest in uh, on a longer term basis. I'm really more of a swing trader. I like to be in there like six months anyway, uh, six months to long term if I really believe in the company. Uh, the only time I'll get out of a company I believe in is when I feel like it's overpriced. And that's after you know, a lot of people have concluded that the, the company is overpriced. Uh, that would be the, the situation with Tesla. Uh, I think Tesla's situation is going to change dramatically, though, once they start getting all these uh, uh, giga factories up and running. I think that can change like a flash. Uh, a flash in my mind is a couple months, okay? <laughs> That's This day-to-day -day thing is, is just getting to me to the point where I don't want to respond so much to just the daily news. I want to respond to individual companies. And I found some companies that are, that are doing really good. Uh, Alcoa Aluminum is one of them. Uh, that's probably the stock I'm the most bullish on. That stock has consistently gone up. It's had some down days, but it, the the trend is clearly up, <clears throat> and it's still undervalued. Uh, so uh, that's one I'm looking at. Uh, I, I'm going to be investing in, and I think I'm going to hang on to that one. There's no reason not to hang on to it. I think uh, Tech K, uh, that uh, I call it Tech K, just to remind me that it's T E. Yes, I know. <laughs> My kitty always gets upset when I get this certain tone of voice. Uh, it's it's symbol is T E C K, and they do all kinds of minerals and some energy, uh, but uh, again, they have an upward trend. I'm I'm still more more bullish on Alcoa Aluminum AA. Uh, that's my strongest recommended recommendation. That's not a recommendation. I'm not giving recommendations. I, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Okay, I, that's just a form of speech, uh, but I'm not recommending it. 
Um, I especially don't recommend shorting to anyone. It doesn't feel good. I, I hate the way it makes me feel. And I got to reverse think myself. And I don't know if that's a good habit to do. Uh, since the market is usually something you want to be bullish on and you will benefit way more being a long term bull. You just will. I know that. Uh, so I kind of went again <clears throat> against it and I made money doing it. <clears throat> but it doesn't feel good. After all, it's just money, right? <laughs> so, uh, but uh, Alcoa Aluminum and Tech K, T E C K, uh, those are two that you want to keep in your pocket uh, to look at and see if you're interested. Uh, again, I don't know your financial situation, but that's simply what I'm doing. Uh, today, I want to talk about BHP. And BHP has a, a low price to earnings. Uh, and it has good earnings and they also are into mining uh, and they're also into energy uh, to some extent. <clears throat> I was glad to see that they're selling their coal business <laughs> and their earnings just came out and they beat on every metric that, that you want to look at. Uh, so let's take a closer look at BHP. Its official name is BHP Group Limited. Its market capitalization is a very respectable $245 billion. Its trailing price to earnings uh, was 15 However, its forward price to earnings is only 10 Wow, that is really good. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, it pays a dividend. Listen to this. It pays a dividend of 8.8%. Another wow. Its price is around $68. It should, its value, its actual value should be around $88, the high 80s at least. Its sales growth is 74% and its earnings growth is 27%. So <laughs> this is a value stock that's acting like a growth stock just because there's such a demand. Uh, for all the things that they do. It has three main things it does. Iron ore, copper, and petroleum. They used to do coal, but they're selling that division, which I'm glad to hear, frankly. Uh, so uh, this is a company with a, a lot of growth ahead of it, uh, and I think uh, we can get it at a good price, uh, especially in light of its high growth rate, earnings growth rate. Uh, and what it's, if, if you look at that chart, it's been high in the past and then it's slumped down. Now it's coming up again. You know, I think that looks like a cup with a handle. And basically, uh, when you have that, that's a very bullish sign. In other words, it's not going anywhere that it hasn't been before. And there's more demand now. So uh, it's going to continue marching forward, I think, for a pretty long time. Uh, thanks for listening and, and watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you receive future notifications and share amongst friends. And I will thank you again and I will see you in the future.